What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now, unless you've been living in a cave or living on another planet, you know that there's been a huge shortage on many of the components that we use in our beloved PCs. And it's not only video cards that have been unavailable. It's been CPUs as well. And it seems like for the first time ever, there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel and it looks like things are finally going to change. So let's talk tech and let's talk about new changes to the market. Let's go. Did you just build yourself a brand new PC? Or did you just upgrade your old PC but find you're in need of a Windows 10 key? If that's the case, your CD key has you covered. And buying, it's never been easier. All you do is go to the Your CD Key website, find the Windows software that you wanna buy, put it into your cart, enter the code TOT20, apply the code, save yourself some extra money, and as soon as you complete your purchase, the Windows 10 key will be in your inbox. There's no problems, it's really easy, and all keys are guaranteed to work, so you don't have to worry about losing your money, and you'll have a valid Windows 10 key to get your unit up and running. Once again, tech fans, I would ask for your kindness to please like and share this video on social media. If you like what you see, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and turn on that notifications bell as well so you know I'm making videos. It seems like there's been a lot of research that's been, that's been done and John Petty has actually released some information and so have some other companies talking about how the industry is about to change and many of the high-end components that we've all been drastically wanting to get our hands on will finally become available to the market. And what's better yet is it seems like there's been a lot of changes in the background that we you know, haven't been privy to because we're just you know, the end user, but it looks like a lot of companies have made new developments to make sure that people can't just go in and use bots or go buy a bunch of cards and wipe out stock. So really, if this has actually been happening, um, it should be interesting. Now, one thing that I thought was really kind of weird though is that some of the things that were said were like, oh, well, these companies didn't want to get stuck with a bunch of stock they can't sell. And when I heard that, I'm like, what are you talking about? The market's been so dry that pretty much anything that's been released to the market has been sucked up super fast. So that to me just seems to be kind of a bull statement that was just thrown out there. And whoever said it, I don't know really what the heck they're talking about because I find that to be really untrue. But if sales companies can now get these video cards and high-end CPUs and other components to the market and eliminate the way that people have been buying things in the past by using bots or having to do raffles or go to Newegg and get on a list. I think that's a great thing for the market because for the last couple of years, it's just been a major pain in the butt with scalpers, miners, all kinds of things. Unless you wanted to pay an arm and a leg to get yourself a CPU, even lower end entry CPUs have been so overpriced, it's just nuts. Now, I know there are people out there who are hardcore gamers and, you know, during the pandemic, they had nothing better to do but collect that extra money, you know, here in America that the government gave out and just say, hey, you know what? Who cares? I'll go ahead and just buy myself an expensive video card. But truthfully, everybody who did that, you pretty much were feeding the problem. You know, there's an old saying, you know, that, you know, somebody said, you know, which dog do you feed, the mean dog or the nice dog? Well, whichever dog that you fed the most was how things would be, right? If you fed the nice dog, the nice dog would be the more achievable. If you fed the mean one, it would be mean. So the same thing kind of applies to that market. So if you're going on you know, eBay or any of these other places out there and you're paying these extraordinarily high prices for the video cards, you're just giving way for people to keep doing that. And it's ridiculous. It honestly is ridiculous. When a video card is, you know, has a manufacturer's, you know, you know, excuse me, an MSRP of let's just say $500, and then that card's being sold for upwards of $2,000, that's completely utterly nuts. And the whole situation, even creating this market, is 
But the truth of the matter is though, is that prices have gone up on everything. The pandemic pretty much to me has been the biggest, biggest, biggest excuse ever for people to get gouged on pricing. And while CEOs of some of these major companies are paying themselves $31 billion a year and then paying their average worker maybe $5,000 a month, you know there's a big screw up in the market. Plus, rent in places like Los Angeles and New York and other places have seen increasing crazy rent stuff. I was just reading an article the other day about some people who live in Arizona and how their rent went from like $1,100 up to almost $2,000. And this is just in the house renting market, an apartment renting market. Another friend of mine who lives in LA pays $1,700 a month for a two bedroom apartment. So price gouging hasn't only been, you know, in the, the computer field, it's been all over the place. And honestly, it's disgusting. We're all literally just being completely bent over and screwed up proverbial rear end by all these people that are gouging for money. It's simply disgusting. You guys know it, I know it. It's despicable, it's disgusting. I could issue out 50 cuss words in order to describe that and they would all pretty much be the same thing. It's a <laughs> move, it's a <laughs> thing to do, and it sucks, right? It just does. So if these companies now are actually going to take the time to create a marketplace where they can actually bring these cards to market keep them at the MSRP and have availability to people to buy them, that's going to be a great thing, especially for the CPU market. But like I said, even GPUs have been hard to get. If you're trying to find an AMD 5950X or a 5000X, you're gonna have a hard time finding them and even those prices have started to be gouged where people are just starting to ask more and more money because there's none on the market. That stuff is just completely ridiculous. I'm fed up with it. Even as a PC reviewer, honestly, I've had to make more videos just on speculation and what if for maybe or what the fuck, you know what I mean? Just because what else are you gonna talk about when you don't actually have the components and the parts to make videos about? Now, traditionally me, if you guys follow the channel, I haven't been a person who always makes all these what if, what if, blah, 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 speculation videos. I usually stick to just doing hardware videos. Hardware, meaning bring you guys videos of the products that I get into review. But lately, it's been pretty much, I get offers every day for cheap headphones, chairs. How many freaking gaming chairs can one guy fit in his house before you've got 10 chairs lined up? And I live in Kentucky in the middle of nowhere, and I'm gonna be honest with you, even trying to give some of these chairs away is not as easy as you might think. Because people are like, oh, I've already got a chair, I don't need that. Or maybe they just think there's a catch and you're trying to butter them up for something in the future. So for me, taking those products has just got kind of lame. And I really got tired of just testing, you know, 50 different, you know, earbuds, you know, which are all basically trying to compete with Apple. They're like, oh, ours is better than Apple. Ours is better than this. Ours is this, that. But it's all pretty much the same damn product under a different moniker. So it's been a crazy market year for the last couple of years. Hopefully by 2022, things will completely balance out, the pandemic back behind us, and we'll see prices go down and stock start to actually be there for us. The best thing that could ever really happen would be if there are laws put in place from people just going and sucking out all the stock of everything for their own personal need. I don't know about you guys, but, but sometimes I've gone to like Starbucks and I have a person in front of me and I'm like, oh cool, they've still got something there. And the person in front of you, they order every single solitary thing in the counter and say, oh, it's for my church group or it's for my AA meeting. You're like, I really had my heart set on buying that candy bar or that cookie or something. You guys know what I mean. I'm just throwing things out there. But it really sucks when somebody just buys all of everything. Now, I mean, you can say first come, first serve, and I guess there, you know, there is that. You know, when it comes to food and stuff like that, you gotta deal with it. But when it comes to video cards and CPUs and you have people just basically sucking up that entire market and then turning around and they're not using it for themselves, they're trying to make money off it, resell it, or just gouge the fuck out of you on these prices. It's utterly beyond ridiculous. I'm looking forward to big changes. If the rumors are true, then hopefully very soon, we're going to see things that we haven't seen in a long time. 
I'm personally looking forward to it. What about you guys? Aren't you tired of not being able to buy your favorite GPU or your favorite CPU unless you basically want to sell a kidney to get one? I know I am. Let me hear you guys' comments down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. You're the audience. You're just as important in this video process as I am. So I love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could support the channel by trying Amazon Prime for free. I have a link down below. It doesn't cost you guys any money. If you don't have Amazon Prime, you can use it for a month. You can watch all their videos. You can buy some stuff and get it shipped free and see how you like it. At the end of the month, you don't like it, just get rid of it. Amazon's not a screwed up company. They're not gonna charge your credit card and do screwy things to you like other companies do. They're pretty straight up about that stuff. Also, if you have a single dollar, you can support me over on Patreon. It doesn't really cost anything but a dollar a month to help keep Tech of Tomorrow up and rolling. So peace out. We'll see you guys back here for more tech on the channel.